another an hour and a half video to get 20 minutes of content. I posted on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube this little picture, which just said, ask me anything from bus driving to my personal life and I'll answer it in this video. So this is the Christmas Q&A video. Um, just for privacy on some people, I won't be sharing names uh, of, of everyone because not everyone wants to have their name shared all over the internet, but I will answer your questions. And if you know it's you, give me a big thumbs up on this video. So I'm starting with Facebook and I've got a few questions off Facebook. So I'm going to go from the bottom to the top. Uh, the first person asked me if this video is going to be a live video. No, it's not. It's going to be a pre-recorded video up probably Sunday. But you guys are watching it today, so that's fine. The next one is, what is your favourite and least favourite thing about being a bus driver? A few people have asked me this. The best thing about being a bus driver is people. And the worst part of being a bus driver is people. It's such a broad spectrum of things I enjoy and things I don't enjoy. I enjoy a lot more about the job than I, than I don't like. Things I don't like about the job can be changed moving from company to company, and things change like that. If I didn't enjoy something at the Yorkshire Tiger, I don't have that problem now where I am. And it's vice versa between anywhere you go. You might not like one particular thing a company does, but then the next company might do it completely different. But the thing I enjoy most about being a bus driver is meeting new people, meeting all kinds of people from different walks of life. And the bit I also don't particularly like is when you meet the horrible kind of end of people. And when I mean horrible, they just don't kind of get the job you're doing. You get a lot of abuse, a lot of grief because you're running 10 minutes late and they've got to get the train and make a connection. I can see why they're frustrated, but that's not my fault. The next question is off a work colleague and it says, why do you wear shorts to work in the winter? And my body clock in regards to weather and temperature is so backwards. In the summer, I wear shirts, jumper and jeans. And in winter, I wear shorts and t-shirts. So don't ask me why. I haven't got a clue. I just, it just kind of happens like that. It's kind of the first thing I pull out of the drawer in the morning. And it just tends to be shorts. So I just not bother looking again. Just I've got what I need. Away I go. And as well, this is, the, this is my reason I wear shorts. Because with this job, I'm in and out of the cab quite a lot opening doors. And if, if it's pissing it down outside and I get soaked, if I've got jeans on, they're, they're going to be soaking wet for most of the day. With shorts, they're going to dry quicker because there's only half of them to dry. And then I can just well, wipe my legs down with a cloth. Or my IVs, to be honest with you, which kind of happens all the time. And if I know, <laughs> to be fair, when I need my IVs, if I'm in bus station, I've never got it. But if I don't need it, <laughs> it's usually got bus wiping my legs when, when I'm wet and damp. <laughs> moving up i've got what made you want to be a bus driver and start vlogging um i didn't really want to be a bus driver i kind of just fell into it needed a job there i were i can't really say anything else so my brother-in-law said there was some jobs going at stagecoach and at first i, went, I don't want to be a bus driver you know get it all i'm sean i'm not a bus driver and then when he explained weekly pay great pay good benefits to the job I kind of just said yeah go on then i'll apply and Never looked back since. Moving up, I've got, where did you buy your flat cap from? And do you wear it just for work? Or do you have another flat cap from when you're not working? So a lot of my flat caps are from local vendors. Really, they're from all over. The only place I won't buy a flat cap from is the Lacoste shop. Because my head's too big. And their flat caps are so nice. If you've seen the, if you've seen the Lacoste flat caps, they're so smart. They've got the little crocodile on the side. But I've got a fat head. One of the best places I've found to get flat caps is Carboos. But I want to do a massive shout out to the Sunday markets in Huddersfield. They're on Instagram. If you haven't seen their Instagram, link is below. And that's a picture of their Instagram. Honestly, great. Superb local things off local people. And if you can support local, please do. Because they are the people who are the bread and butter of the town. Um, I get all my flat caps now from him. I do buy me occasional ones at Cabo's and whatnot, 
But the variety he's got is fantastic. He even sells top hats, but I don't think I can be the top hat, the top hat bus driver. Just doesn't sound right, does it? The top hat bus driver. What is your favourite bus at Yorkshire Tigers and Stagecoach and Sloth Pennine? South Pennine. And would you like to go back to Stagecoach or Yorkshire Tiger? PS, my favourite bus is a Vario 400 XLB. Uh, favourite bus at Yorkshire Tiger was 362. Favourite bus at South Pennine is 127. Stagecoach. I'm going to Google this actually. That's it. Found it. 26025. 100%. The bus, which I remember most from Stagecoach. Whenever I had 26025, shit went down. Two scrubbers fighting each other. Someone pooed on it. Nappies thrown on it. So 26025 is just my bus, which for some reason, it's, always, it's, it's the only one that's stuck in my head. But it's just, whenever I had it, just shit went down. Literally shit went down. Right, let's find these questions again now because I've come off it. Uh, favourite bus and least favourite to drive. My favourite bus has got to be the Enviro. 100%. They're just so smooth, so beautiful. Every single one I've driven has I've, been flawless. So at least favourite bus. 776, the Rattler. <laughs> the Rattler, we call it. And it's there. It's there, the Rattler. That's how we know when 776 comes in. Oh, we got the rattler. <laughs> Just rattles and bangs. The best way I can imagine driving that, yeah? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That all the way. You know, gold capacity is going, oh, get out, it's loud on here, isn't it? And it is. I'm a shooting mechanic. Just put one of these on the top of your head just to you off. And that is the end of the Facebook comment section. So let's move over to YouTube community. And this is something which I used to post so much on, but I kind of kind of slowed down posting on there because I got Instagram. Haven't followed me, please do. It's at the Flat Cat Bus Driver. Search me send, me, send me a message if you want. Please don't be disheartened if I don't reply straight away. You have to understand that I get a lot of messages on there, a lot of people tagging me in things. So I have to look at stuff and sometimes with having a family and a job, it's hard to get the time to focus on things and reply to people. So, so the first question is, the first time you was away from Yorkshire Tiger, what were you doing? A few people have asked me this and I've spilt kind of the beans once or twice. But I actually went to become a funeral director, or I'd work up to become a funeral director. And it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. It wasn't the best opportunity I had, I think. So I came back to the job with, with which I knew what I was doing. And putting your family before your work and your life is the best thing to do because my family is my life so i have to i have to look after my family i'm the breadwinner in the family i've so when you're in a job and it's not the best thing for you and your family the only link in the chain is me moving jobs so i did go back to tiger i left on good terms and going back there it was it was great i really enjoyed it and that's kind of what i did in me a few months i think it was three months i were off bus driving so that's what i did uh, i've got three questions here off same person um, what's your favourite bus and least favourite bus? I've gone over that um, earlier in the video. Favourite route? It's a hard one, that, because my favourite route ever is the 218 Barnsley to Rotherham. Or Rotherham to Barnsley, whichever way you're getting it. Uh, that were a great route. Over this side at Pond. Probably South Pennine Upper Mill. It's bloody brilliant. Just the scenery and views on that. It's Phenomenal, honestly great. Uh, another bit, another question: What do you prefer, driving small buses or driving normal buses? <laughs> different, the completely two different things. Um, I pre obviously prefer driving bigger buses; the bigger the better. That's answered your question there. What drew you away from Yorkshire Tiger and towards South Pennine? It was just the progression, really. I think I've got. Some skills which I've learned over the doing YouTube, studying media and marketing, which I felt like being at South Pennine, I can really grow as a person. The thing I want to look at is I don't want to just look at being a bus driver forever. It's a great job and it's great. I'm not ever saying it's not. 
but I want to build up in the company. I want to be be better than me. So another question is pretty good. This how and when do you learn the bus rules? If you haven't driven a particular route before, is this something you have to learn on the day? So when you first start as a bus driver and you pass your test and all that malarkey, you're then given a mentor or buddy driver, and they they know the routes and they will show you the routes and you have a big checklist of everything. And when you're competent with it, you have, you have to sign yourself off and the mentor has to sign you off as competent. So when you first become a bus driver, you aren't just thrown out on the road with a map. You're actually shown the ropes with a bus driver. You're shown how to run to a timetable. You're shown little shortcuts and things like that. No, no, not route shortcuts, job shortcuts. How to make your job quicker and things like that. Ticket machine shortcuts and little bits like that. So that is really kind of how we learn routes. But then saying that, Sometimes in the middle of being a bus driver, your company will get new routes. The best day for route learning is a Sunday because most drivers are off. They, they operate shorter runs and sh a, a relaxed timetable. So Sundays, they'll tend to put up... If, the, if they know they're getting a run and it's three months down the line, then for then one month they'll have three Sundays where, you, where it's open to route learn. Next month they'll have three Sundays and then month after they'll have four. So it gives people a chance to book on to, to route learn that, that run. And, and as a bus driver, there's two ways you can look at that. It's you can look at that as you are learning the bus route or you can look at it as a pain in the ass because, because it's your day off. But that's just part and parcel of the job. You are required to learn the bus routes. And you are paid for going there. They don't, they don't expect you to go there and do it for free. They, they will pay you the time which you've been there. Another one is, do you have any embarrassing moments as a bus driver? All the time. All the time. The most memorable one is coming from, when, when, I, when I worked at Stagecoach, I was driving back dead. And I was we was taught a particular way to come back. All the drivers knew their own way to come back, but only a few us knew the best way. Barnsley to Romarsh in like 17 minutes in a bus of at tops hammering it so and you're supposed to get in when you when you finish your last run check your bus make sure no one's there make sure no one's sleeping but me being me told dipshit just looked at mirror anyone on no reply I turn the lights off I'm like yes it's all the time bear in mind this is like call it quarter to twelve at night so I'm there, I'm driving back, coming out of tops, and, I, and I'm singing Billy Joel. But I, lo I, I, I love Billy Joel, I think he's fantastic. And oh, what song right now? That's it. I was singing it for the longest time. But I was singing it like an, like an a cappella version on my own. So I, I, I was doing all these voices, like, whoa, for the, for the longest time, whoa. And I went, if you say good, wait, wheeling one hand, if you say goodbye to me tonight, ooh. honestly, all these noises, yeah, next thing I know, I see this, uh, uh, next stop, please, driver, what? Some mug has fell asleep behind me, behind my cab bit, so I can't see him, and I'm there singing Billy Joel. Uh, next stop, please, mate, anywhere near Kendry, mate? No, mate. Top end of Wentworth near enough. Well, what do I do now? I don't know, walk. Can't I just 13 point turn a bus round and take him back? To be fair, it was my fault. I should have checked and walked him up. But how do you wake someone up from a deep sleep? You've seen these stories of people waking sleepwalkers up and getting mugged and getting beaten up by waking a sleepwalker. But I don't know what it is. How do I know? I'm not, waking, not, not, not going to wake up and just go, ah, and like, have a heart attack. So I've got to be careful. And the, the ruling is, don't get out of your cab if you're scared. How do I know when there's not pissing Jimmy Savile behind, glass thing behind me? How do I know no one stood around there? I've got to be careful. I'm only 18. I've got to be careful. Pissing singing Billy Joel. Next stop, please. <laughs> Cough. Let's have a look. One day ago. All right, Sean, I got my PCV practical test tomorrow. Any tips? Well, I hope you did well. <laughs> I hope. You hope you pass. <laughs> oh, see, I said I'm pointless asking for advice. On a serious note, mate, I hope you have passed. Um, great start to a career. And as well, just in time for Christmas. 
what a Christmas treat that is. So no, mate, honestly, I really hope you've passed. And if you haven't, good luck on your reset. I hope you have passed. But honestly, mate, any tips to succeed, just be yourself. As a bus driver, you can be a mangy old sod. Or you can actually get up in the morning, put a smile on your face, get to work and do your job. And that is a thing I find. I think some people find really difficult about bus driving. You can make it as easy or as hard as you want to. Get up in the morning, crack a smile on their face, get out of here, drive a, bro drive a brush, drive a bus and just enjoy it. And that is YouTube comment done. So I did put on Instagram this little post we've seen it a thousand times already and it's just on instagram i get a big a bit of a better feedback because everyone's got instagram nowadays so let's start with some on here how do you cope with, with the pressure of a beard you know to be fair though yeah i've lost my hair <laughs> so, so the next question is what do you think of the xmct bus i've not driven it i'm driving it tomorrow so Hopefully, which it will be, it's an Enviro, so it, it'll be typical Enviro. A few rattles here, there, but on, over the all, brilliant little bus. Uh, someone said, do I like being a bus driver? No, I hate it. Don't do it. Don't do it, you never get a life. Never, never get a day off again, I'll tell you. you now, when you work for a bigger company, constant on the phone, days off ringing you, hey, Sean, can you work? No, f off. It's half three in the morning. Jenny, honestly, if, you, if you're in the industry, you'll understand. Do I like being a bus driver? Yes, I love it. Do I like being phoned up at half four in the morning, asking if I can just do a little bit? That's your answer. Do a little bit. Another question is, ever wanted to drive a London bus? Answer is no. Have you seen the traffic? No, thank you. Uh, but if I ever got the opportunity to, if anyone from down south wants to offer the flat cap bus driver a chance to drive, London bus or anything down there, please get in touch with my media inquiries on DM. You know, trying to grab them videos off people. So, another question just says fun. I mm -hmm, think I'm having fun. I think so. Another one, what made you start wearing flat caps? Like I said, receding, didn't suit ball, baseball caps, and I didn't want to be bald, so I bought one. Well, I got, I got given one first. I got given one off my mum, and I thought, I'm never going to wear this. And I actually look pretty good in it. Oh, uh, yeah, I wear this all the time. Another one is, what made you move from buses to minibuses, and would you ever go back? Thanks. Um, it's, I moved for my own reasons. It weren't particularly the kind of vehicles or the drive. It was just kind of what I wanted at the time. I mentioned that earlier on in my questions. Um, what was your favourite bus at Tiger? 362, any day. Move on. Next one, did you enjoy working for Yorkshire Tiger? Yeah. I, I loved it. I'm not going to sit here and slander them because I don't work there anymore. Because at the end of the day, they, were, they are a good company. Another question is, how old am I? Too old for you, sunshine. Moving swiftly on. Hey, bud, ready for Christmas. You know what? Why has them gone off? <laughs> when did they go off? Right, that should be the correct setting. I were Christmas ready, but these lights suddenly decided they weren't working. Uh, yes, I am Christmas ready. We've got all those things up and... Uh, look at DMs, very important. Okay. How old are you? Why is everyone bothered about my age? I'm in my young 20s. I'm younger than 25 and older than 23. What's the, what's the best bus I've ever driven? Also, I like watching Cab Cam. Yes! At least one person likes Cab Cam. No, uh, cab cam for me is, is there's such easy videos to make. I can just stick a camera on any bus and just film the run if I haven't already done it. So I do like editing them. They are a fairly quick video to do. I've got quite a lot to go up, ready on YouTube and get sorted. Uh, just, just publish them, really. I've been really lazy with it. So I'll put one out very, very soon. Um, so moving on. When are you going to be on 352s? No. Whenever my rotor says, as rotors, rotors work very different at South Pennine. So I'll be on them at some point, but just not in this next week. Have I ever drove for Flying Tiger? And what's my opinions on the Cadets versus an E200 MMC? I've never driven for Flying Tiger. I've been to the depot once or twice, and great little depot. Uh, Cadets, I love them. 
what a nice bus. That is like the pinnacle of greatness, isn't it, really? The Dennis Dyson cadets are just bloody brilliant. I love them. Versus nice bus, just typical Optare, really. That's all I can really say. And E200's just my favourite, really. Love them to bits. What happened that night in Sheffield train station after the work party? Right, this goes back many, many years, this. It's, he, he won't mind if I say his name. His name's Paolo. And I used to work with him at Cruise PC World. There were me, Paolo, Jason, Sarah, Francine. There were Joe, Andy, my love. Honestly, the best people I've ever worked with. And I've not worked there now for four or five years. And we stay in contact every day. They're the nicest people. But that night, what happened at the Treffield train station... We decided to not get a taxi because the taxi was going to be £60 for us to get back to my house. So in the anger, Paolo threw a ham and egg sandwich at the queue park in Sheffield. So we, so, so we politely got told to move on. So we ended up taking refuge in the train station. I was absolutely hammered playing piano. Here's a video of me playing piano, pissed up. We got on the train, fell asleep, woke up at Mexborough, just, just just got off the train before the door shut, and then walked home at like 5am, and it was the coldest walk home ever. Someone said, what's best and worst part of the job? It depends on what you really... My, I've said before, it's just people. It's people can make a job or break it. If you can get on a set run, which you know your passengers, it makes life a ton easier past my pcb theory and hazard perception today i've got my cpc next month any tips when it comes to your cpc i just say revise 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 always think this question will come up don't ever think I'm, i don't know that but i'm not going to learn it because it won't come up your cpc is it's a it's hard if it, if, it, if it was easier everyone would do it so your CPC qualification is a hard thing to do, so just look into it. And also re revise your driving hours. That's something I got caught up on quite a lot, something I never really got the hang of until like the last day of doing it. So just just revise, revise, revise. Would you ever buy your own bus and preserve it? Uh, no. Quite bluntly, no. I've not got the time, the money, the effort, or the place to store a bus. And what would I have? I don't, a lot of people preserve buses for kind of memories and their own reasons for preserving a vehicle. A friend of mine's preserved his own bus because that's the bus he used to get with his girlfriend. A friend of mine's preserved a bus because that's one of the buses he remembers from his childhood. I never really got buses as a child. I got them to school and whatnot. But I never really had the connection a lot of people do with buses. So I don't think, if I owned a bus and preserved it, I think it'd be wasted on me. Hey man, a massive fan of the channel. What are some tips you give to new drivers? Be yourself. Be yourself. Be truthful to who you are. Remember why you came into this job. It's not just about getting your paycheck at end of week. It's about actually delivering something which, make, which makes you happy. And when you think of things... When you put things into perspective, you are a small cog in a massive, massive engine. Without you doing your bit nothing else at work so and i always said to people always keep your heart always know what you're doing and why you're doing it um don't get forced into working overtime that is my my biggest advice to people when they first get into the industry when i first got into the industry i worked 60 70 hours a week and yes the pay was fantastic but i never had time to go and spend it so i ended up saving it and blowing it on crap and then when i met my other half and we decided to settle down and you know become a family i was still working six seven hours a week and it put a massive strain on us and looking back now i think what an absolute tool i were then i would I, 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 I didn't think of that i just thought money 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 it's not everything and it kills your love for the job it absolutely kills your love when you're coming home from a another shift and you it's your, it's your 13th day and, you, and your partner's going i've not seen you you're like, oh yeah, but we got money though. It's, it's not a point. Don't do it. 
it's my advice stay truthful to who you are remember why you're doing it and if you've got kids take your days off and enjoy it with your kids and that's probably the most truthful advice i can give anyone because it's a bitter pill to swallow i've made the mistake and a lot of people have and i know bus drivers who've lost friends and family through working too much just don't be one of them Another question is, what's it like to drive an Optair Tempo? You know what, great buses, love them. Uh, pretty much, it's just a standard Optair set out of the dash and the wheel. Everything's where you're expected to be, all the icons are the same. Pretty much standard to a solo, just bigger up wheels are in a different place. But honestly, the great buses, 776 is a rattling piece of but the others I've been on are great. Fave type of bus you've driven, love your videos, one of the best YouTubers around. It's always hard sometimes making videos and content because it takes up so much time. And when people reply to comments and message me, it makes my heart feel warm like I'm doing something good. So thank you so much for support. Uh, Favourite type of bus, E200 MMC, 100%. Uh, no else to really say about that. I mentioned favourite buses down the line. Next question, how do you become a bus driver and why did you want to do it? I'm not going to get into how to become a bus driver because it's so long. There's a video I've done, how to, be, how to become a bus driver. Watch that one. What is your go-to food and drink? 100% kebab and a Coke. Said it, there it is, black and white, done. How does a flat cat bus driver spend Christmas Day? I spend it with my family. Christmas Day in the Grice household is mint. Presents, food, and join us then. What more can anyone ever want? Spending Christmas Day with your family lamb enjoying yourself uh how old was i when i started driving buses would i recommend it i was 18 when i started driving buses one of the youngest bus drivers in the country i believe um would i would i recommend it yeah i would just depends what person i'm recommending it to do i think i'll ever go into another career um uh, or line of work in the future i don't know i'm very happy where where i am now no intention of moving or moving on from here and I think if I do go into another line of career, I think it'll still be within the transport industry, just not as a driver moving up. So that's all I can really say. Another question, hey, Sean, it's Joe, Obnob or Digestive? Uh, Joe's a fantastic bus photographer. If you haven't seen his material, please have a look. He's honestly top notch. I'm going to plug his Instagram because he's got some great content on there. Uh, Hobnob or Digestive? Otis! Can't afford obnobs, I'm only a bus driver. Oh, Here we go. That's it. These bad boys. Aldi's own, my friend. Do you miss driving the bigger buses or I enjoy driving the minibus? Honestly, I love driving minibuses. Completely different perspective on driving, really. I can kind of get everywhere with these, with these little buses. Another, another question, did I enjoy working for Tiger? Yeah. I think, do people think I don't like it? <laughs> or, or I hated it and left? No, I, I loved it, honestly. <laughs> Great job. Uh, I just part about being a bus driver, already answered that. A lot of these are quite repetitive on what people want to know. So you're all kind of in the same nosy little bit here. I'm, eight, I'm 18 in October next year and I want to get my PCV license. What do you recommend I do? Pass your car test first. First things first, pass your car test, get applying. And a lot of companies won't take you on without three years experience on the roads, but more and more companies now are opening that up to anyone over the age of 18. So just apply and just make your CV look amazing. Fair thing from Chippy, curry sauce or gravy on chips, view on KFC gravy. Oh, you see, this is the thing. If it's just on chips, it's gotta be gravy. But then if you get in like a battered sausage on chips, curry sauce. A chippy curry sauce is like the next level. And if you want KFC gravy, depends. The best way to test it, yeah, is get imagine this is your KFC gravy, yeah? Get a chip and put it in. If it stands up, it's good gravy. If you put it in and it goes <laughs> crap. What do I find more challenging and enjoyable about your new job? Oh challenging is really Trying to get rid of the stigma of around it's not a bus. And I think that's over to you guys understanding that. And passengers as well. I think sometimes people don't realise what it is and what it does and what it provides. Other than the fact it's not an actual bus. Uh, I enjoy so much more with my job. 
I feel like I can be me. And for me, being me is a big thing. I'm a really big character. I like to just put my opinion forward a lot and shout and rage. So having my own persona at work and being able to be me without people judging me is brilliant. And I'll never go back to anything other than that. Do you think you'll be able to drive in the Nordic winter conditions and actually survive? Honestly, yeah, I looked at Nordic winter conditions, minus 25. I can tell you now, if I got out of bed, as I do every morning, walk downstairs, Alexa, what's the weather like today? And it went, the weather is minus 25. I'd be putting my eating on and going back to bed. Do I think I'd, of course I wouldn't survive. You wouldn't survive in your shorts, would you? I wouldn't you? survive in my shorts, would I? <laughs> I have to put big coat on. Uh, what bus and route is your favourite with South Pennine? My favourite bus is 127. I love it. Just a bus I've always got on with. Uh, love it. Uh, favourite route is probably the, the upper mill. Just stunning. Love that run. Do you like bus driving? Is there any days where you want to quit? I don't know, really. I've never come home. Well, I have once. And I, and I, did, and I did leave. So I think you get good days and bad days. And I think it's, it's how you take them. Not every day is going to be good. I'm not going to sit here and say to people, oh, every day is amazing. It's like a party on bus. It's not. Some days is a right pain in the ass. How do you find out when you're working, like what time and where you need to be to take over a bus? Um, I refer this back to bigger companies. You get your rota. So a lot of companies, you'll have your rota laid out there. And you know what you're doing in 12 months time. If there's 52, a lot of depots have something like 170, like Stagecoach, when I worked there, they were like, on the rotor I was on, there were like 70 lines. So if I'm, I could like work out where I were, and then work out where my birthday I were, find out what I had off, so I could make swaps and changes for them. And that's what I, I liked about that, is you knew what you were doing all the time. Things like taking over buses and whatnot. Running board. <laughs> it's your running board and you do, but then again, I think sometimes it depends where you work. Like at Yorkshire Tiger, there were some days where duty, some duties started at Huddersfield bus station. So you have to know what duties started where I went by looking at your duty summary. So thank you all so much for giving me questions. And I hope I've answered everyone's questions or somewhat answered a similar question. There's no point in me filming a video for 50 minutes where every question is, what's my favourite bus? So I've tried to answer pretty much everyone's questions, but some p people's questions have been repeated quite a lot of times. That's why I said make them personal, make them about other things and bus driving and answer questions which you wouldn't normally ask people. So I think I'll do one of these again, if it turns out well, touch wood. This is a point in the video where I'll, I want to do a few thank yous. I want to say a massive thank you to these guys right here, Coach and Bus Weekly. These guys put me in their magazine a few months back. And my little boy decided that the magazine would look better in a thousand pieces on the floor. So I contacted them and they sent me another one, didn't they? So this one's going to get kept away. There's our aunt on there with his moustache. Frontline positivity. YouTube star bus drivers speak to Coach and Bus Weekly. That's me. YouTube star. You saw it, you heard it first here. YouTube star. Sean is the best looking bus driver I ever I have ever did see. Perfect, you know. What more of a write-up could you want? No, massive thank you to these guys. These guys do a different magazine every week. If you haven't seen it, check them out. Um, I'm not going to not plug them because they really helped me out with this. And I'm going to keep it in here. away from my little boy before that one ends up in 30,000 pieces on my kitchen floor there's a lot of people I want to thank but you all know who you are and I hope you enjoyed this video it's so different to what we've normally done because I'm actually in my house and I don't really film my house because it's my house and you guys don't want to see it it's boring well to you guys it is but to me it's not I, 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 I love my house thank you so much for all your support sharing liking it's Christmas, so I hope you have a fantastic Christmas and an absolute smashing start to the new year. I'm hopefully going to film some bits and bobs of a Christmas and over the new year, but it is family time, so I want to spend a lot of time with, with my family. So I'd appreciate if people would not have a go at me on Instagram because I've not put a video out. 
But no, thank you all ever so much. As always, I appreciate every single one who's commented and liked and shared. And if I can ever help with anything, drop me a message. I'll try and reply. It's not always, and I can't always, but I certainly will, will do my best. Have a lovely, safe Christmas. If you can't be safe, be careful. And just look after yourself. Spend some quality time with your family. And just have a great time.